America, this is Unknown Henson, baby, king of country western troubadours, and you're watching Monster Madhouse. We got a good movie tonight. We got a good movie tonight, man. We got the giant Gila monster. Brought him in. Giant. Back in 1959. Yeah, I know. I had a gargle on. We had to shrink him down. We had to shrink you down, man. We're here on Monster Madhouse Island, of course, where we keep all the monsters you know, locked up. We don't kill them. We just catch them and make them do stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. But there's a chance that this monster in this movie is... I still smell his last oh, meal, though. Oh. <laughs> that is you, isn't it? <laughs> <coughs> mm. This monster in this movie is a female. Hey, wait, look at this thing. What did, you, what did you eat? What did you eat? Oh, uh, he ate somebody's hat. Look at that. Here, hat on him there. There you go. More like what's left of oh, somebody. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. What camera are we on? <laughs> the monster. You know why? Because they're going to eat you. And they're going to take your money, too. And they might, might just ruin your car, all that stuff. What camera are we on? Well, we're over here. No, we, ah, here we are. Man, it's bright in here. But the giant Gila monster, we're going to need to bring the rest of the gang in sooner or later. We got everybody showing up in a little while. Wait a second. Who is that over there? Hey, come here, you. Who is that? Oh. Ah. Hey! <laughs> it's my other kid. Uh, what was your name again? Braid. Braden Borlock. Yeah, I forgot all about him. The, uh, I have the girl at the front desk, Adrena Lynn. She sends out all the, uh, the uh, uh, child support checks. Bob. Can I call you Bob? Hey, what is this on your shirt? Blammo! Never works on this kid. Anyway, you like monster movies? Yeah. You like the giant Gila monster? We're going to watch. We're going to review this movie tonight. Should have seen her before the radiation. We don't know if it's a her or not. I'm going to call the doctor on you. You're pretty sure the skirt used to fit. Yeah. See, he thinks it's female. i got to bring in the doctor. I know. To find her. We're going to run some tests. Because if this thing is a female, you know what females do? What? They eat people. That's right. Females eat people. What camera are we on? This one. Females eat people. Mostly men. Woo! It's messed up, but we gotta find out, because if this monster is a female, then we've got problems, man. Big problems. So, uh, do me Not a favor. Me. <laughs> Go pull my finger in here. 
Pull the finger in. Where is he? Where is Pulling he? your finger. Where? Oh my! <laughs> oh man! I saw you in the parking lot. I thought you were what's his name? Uh, who's the guy who had, uh, with the thing? Oh, Dr. Brown. He's my cousin. Dr. Yeah. Brown. Yeah. Yeah, he's my cousin. No, I thought you were Phil Spector for a minute. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about Look. him. He's in the bad side of the family. There's a chance this monster is female. Uh, this movie. That would be bad. We got to run some tests. What kind of tests do you run to see if something female? Well, there's a lot of things we can do. We can uh, get a blood sample and run a hormone test on that, or Ooh. we can. How do you make a hormone? Oh, you don't bear. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, that's a bad one. Yeah, that's that'll have to be edited out. <laughs> Ed who? Ed Ed. Ed, Ed, Ed. Oh, Sorry, I don't want to wait. The other but test to see if it's a female or not is to. Or we could just flip it over and look. Well, wait, it's a, it's a reptile. Some... Reptiles don't necessarily have that thing. You know, we may have to actually run a probe. We've only got this footage to review. Don't We're have gonna... what thing? The probe. Well, he's got the probe. You oh. see, he thinks it's female. I think there's I, like I, a. I, I, would, I would kind of trust. But, we're gonna. It's lizard man, and you know that's one of his. Uh, she keeps yeah. sending me chocolates. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. Yeah. We're gonna have to figure this out now. Uh, I think you know what we were gonna do. Uh, what were we gonna do? We are going to actually cut into the first part of this movie, the giant Gila monster, 1959. The enormity of the West. There are still vast and virtually unexplored regions. Bleak desolate, where no human ever goes and no life is ever seen. It is as though the land had been posted by God. It is in these lonely areas of impenetrable forest and dark shadows that the Gila monster still lives. How large the dreaded Gila monster grows, no man can say. Charging you with an entertainment oh, tag. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Spook. Hi, Kev. Hey, uh, how are the new clocks on the bomb? Liz, I thought we'd be the last ones here. Yeah, they're probably out spooking around somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they broke down. Not in his heat. I worked on it myself. <laughs> oh, that, it that wouldn't make any difference if he goofed a speed shift or something. Yeah, and that squirrel is just the one that could do it. Hey, <laughs> oh, wonderful. 
What kept you so long, Lisa? Oh, Mr. Wheeler smoked two cigars at the table after dinner. And I could not get out the dishes until it was through. What time is that, Lee? Pa did not come home for dinner. That's why his father was so upset. Here's old man Harris. Man, that fella has a jewel of a car. Well, luck, man. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Hey. 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 hey! hey! How are you going? Yeah, hey. hello, Fisherman. You want to sell that deuce? Why are you fellas always after me to buy my car? That 32 is the ideal stock to convert to a bomb. Buying a car, son, is just like getting married or going to New York City. Everybody ought to do it once, but nobody ought to do it twice. <laughs> hey, I can get you a good price on that. Paid $695 for that car 26 years ago. Ten years ago, wasn't worth a dime. Last month, I turned down 100 for it. When it gets back up to 695 again, I'll sell it. Hey, Spook. Uh, give me a snort of that there soda pop. <laughs> hey, gang, you know, this would be Lisa's first trip to a drive-in. Oh, we have drive-ins in France, too. Yeah? Yes, I went twice with my brother on his motor scooter. <laughs> oh, now, that's my idea. Now, that's absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Don't be too late. We're going to pull on out. Hey, Chase. If the road's clear, I'll drag you to Bartonell's Corner. Oh, I can't. I'm driving barefoot. You still riding on that old rubber? Yeah. Hey, Spook, when Pat and Liz get here, will you tell them that we went to the drive-in and form to catch up? Thank you. We sure will. And I'll give you 150 bucks. You're talking like my foot's asleep. <laughs> you think he's playing with, kids? <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, what's the trouble, Mr. Wheeler? Pat didn't come home last night. He didn't? No, evidently was out with Liz Humphreys. She didn't come home either. Right on. I want you to find out why. And don't leave a stone unturned in doing so. Do I make myself clear? I understand, Mr. Wheeler. There weren't any wrecks reported last night. Your son, Pat, he's about 19, isn't he? That's right. <laughs> Just a year older than I was when I got married. You think they eloped? He wouldn't dare. I didn't say that. But if they were out together all night, you better hope they have. This is a missing persons report, and I want to know what you're going to do about it. Well, I'll send in an APB on both of them and the car. I don't think it'll do much good if they went off to get married. They'd already be across the state line. Well, if he got married, I'll wring his neck. If you ask me, it's that Chase Winston. He's older than the others. Sets them all wrong. Why, he's got more influence on Pat than I have. Chase Winstead does more about keeping them in line than getting them in trouble than I know. He's supported his mother and sister ever since his dad died on one of your drill rigs. Your son could take a page out of his book, Mr. Wheeler. When I get through with my son, he won't have a book left. Now you locate him or I'll have your job. If you want to be the only peace officer in 10,000 square miles and 1,000 miles of road, you're welcome to it. I'll do everything I can to locate both of them, Mr. Wheeler. Got a new set of wheels. Yeah, new to me. That clunker I had, I'd be chasing you boys on a bicycle in a couple of days. Oh, come on, Sheriff. Outside of Pat Wheeler, we haven't had a ticket in our gang in eight months. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I was just kidding. What's the mileage on it? Oh, about 35,000. County bought it from the state. Those lucky stiffs on highway get a new car every year. Let me have it for a couple of days and I'll tune it up for you. Oh, <laughs> you'd choke it off so I could never catch you. You couldn't catch that deuce of mine right now. Now, let me have that patrol car. I'll turn it into a slingshot that'll catch anybody. We'll make a deal. Just between us, Liz Humphreys and Pat Wheeler didn't get home last night. Oh. They were supposed to meet us at the drive-in, but they didn't show up. We wondered what happened. Were they in any kind of trouble? What do you mean? You know. Uh, no, I don't think so. Chase, level with me. I'm almost positive they weren't in any trouble. I'd know. Do you think they might have run off to get married? Well, they've been going steady for over a year now. And I know they talked about it, but... No, not like for right now. Did Pat have any money stashed? Yeah, some. Like how much? Well, he was talking about getting a new blower and a mill. That's about 500 bucks. Where did he get that kind of money? He saved it. His old man gives him a good allowance when he's not mad at him. What bank does he use? None. He's afraid his dad would find out. He could have been saving it to get married, couldn't he? It's his money. I guess he could do whatever he wants with it. But you know, if he eloped, his old man had put him down flat. I know. But Pat's smart enough to provide for himself till the old man cooled off. That's the only one of the gang I couldn't slow down. Did you check the hospitals? Yeah. Where could I find the rest of the gang? Well, I don't know about Bob and Gordy, but Chuck and Rick went over to Easton. They wanted to check with the wheel cats about next Saturday night's platter party. Next Saturday night? Yeah. You warn the gang I'll be cruising that pass that night. No dragon. Okay, I'll tell them. If you get any postcards from those two, let me know. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Kelly. Howdy, Eb. Hello, Sheriff. I don't have any word for you, Miss Humphreys. She's a good girl, Sheriff. I ain't worried. How come you drove around the truck all night then? You don't think she might have eloped, do you? Could be. She's pretty close mouthed about her affairs. More the likes of Wheeler. Ain't marrying our kind of folks. You don't have a phone, so I just dropped around to let you know I'm doing everything I can. We know that, Sheriff, and we sure do appreciate it. Sorry, Liz, but put you to so much trouble. It's never any trouble looking after kids. Let me know if I can help, Sheriff. Thanks, Evelyn. Thank you, Sheriff. Goodbye. We have got to quit worrying this way. We've got to trust in the Lord. We've got to pray. Morris. Morning, Sheriff. Let me smell your breath. Okay, go ahead. Okay. What? What do you mean? No, 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 no. That's the other guy. And you, yeah. Yeah, the pepperoni and oh no, yeah. Uh huh. Frankenstein's in the parking lot. Oh, shipment. Frankenstein's in the parking lot. Oh, he's my creation. Frankenstein monster. What? He's my creation. I'll go. I'll go and talk to him because you know he, he might get a little crazy. Go, yeah. bring him. go pull him in, finger. You knew he was going to bring him. I know. It's Part like, of his. It's like the guy who gets sick in your car every time. He builds monsters. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Hey. Big Frank! <laughs> Look at this guy! Man, we Monster just... Monster Madhouse, good! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, we need you on the basketball team. What's this on your shirt? I better not. A little tall, you might, uh, you know. Yeah, no, 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 so you no, build no, 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 no. a monster. You built this guy. Yeah. You put him together anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Had all different parts. Now, this Gila monster, would he have any kind of uh, insight? Uh, 
Oh, he's all made of human parts, so I didn't use any of the reptilian things in this guy. You know what? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah, yeah, where's Studio B? Come on in, Freaky Daddy. Come on. Studio B. Yeah. Freaky Daddy's here. No. Freaky Daddy's here. Where the hell is he? What year is he from this time? There he is. Hey. <laughs> Freaky Daddy, everybody. All right. What's he's going. Always a good source of flies right here. Watching a giant Gila monster, man. I'm trying to figure oh. out if this is a female or a male. I tell if you might have to probe. Do that thing with your hat, man. Take this out. Can you hold that over here? Yeah. Oops. Oops. One, two. Blam! There you go. That's pretty cool, man. What do you got? Here you go. Uh, what is that anyway? It's a bull pizzle cane. A bull pizzle cane. Is that really how they do that? Bull pizzle. Bull pizzle. All right, now what else are we supposed to do, Frank? Uh, how about you <laughs> 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 this thing is just kind of like living dead. It's like a zombie, but it's not. But it's a dude. And it's... No, more like now, good. More like good. Now, now like listen. Good. All right, uh, come here, uh, uh, Bob. Uh, what's your name? If you're getting Brayden the Borlock, uh, do me a favor. Go out over there. You know the really hot chick, the superhero chick. Go tell her to come in here, Ultraman. We need to bring in Ultraman. We are going to have... Ooh, ah. Monsters, monsters. No, 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 he's him. okay. He's Ooh, okay. Let me get him. This movie. This movie here, we're going to get a female monster. Uh, it's a Gila monster, maybe a she monster. But we might need your help to help us figure out if it is a she. We're going to have to, like, you know how to, like, test things out. You know what I mean? I'm not the doctor. I'm a superhero. No, but there's some tricks. That, you see, we're watching this movie and we're trying to figure out if there's any female traits as to the way it kills its victims. Like a praying mantis? Like a praying mantis. See, now only a woman would come up with that. I bet only comic book companies had it out against they're the lizards. They're smart. That's the thing about women, you got to watch out because they're smart. Oh, you already know that. But what's going on in the uh, world of uh, crime fighting and superheroes? I'm short on monsters. I need to get Monsters. I thought you monster. had some for me here. No, well, he's, he's a oh, guest. Damn good. Oh. <laughs> now, this movie, uh, there's a guy named Don Sullivan in this movie. Come here, come here. Don Sullivan, he's about 89 years old. We met Don Sullivan, and uh, we actually interviewed him a couple of years ago. Ask him all about this giant Gila monster yes, thing that was real. It really happened. Oh, my goodness. But apparently, out in the desert, these things are still there. So we're gonna have to figure this That's out. Where they live. The, the desert in the southwest. Yes. You know, in and South they're, America. They're actually venomous too, but they have to chew your poison in. South yeah. America, yeah, bite, chew, chew. No, no, but remember, he's on our side. He's okay. He's okay. That's Gargalon. You remember, you used to drop bombs on him. I still a monster. Don't do we anything shrunk, with sardines. We shrunk him down. I'm not sure. She I'm just sure. likes to mess with the bad guys. But you know what? We need. It was real expert. Because where is the desert? Where is the Gila monster at? They're in the southwest. southwest. It's close to like right the southern the, part. The, the, yeah. the nuclear bomb test yeah. site, I do believe. Yeah, it's close to central. You know what? what? I bet yeah. that's her. Yeah. Isabella Borlaug. <laughs> it's my cousin, Isabella. And my niece. What are you again? You're my second niece cousin from uh, El Salvador. Yeah. You're at the. Go get her. Let her in. Uh, El, uh, Isabella. Isabella. She's me. She's she just don't speak no English. It just scares me to think that there's a whole town of warlocks somewhere. Hi, Chase. Hi. Did you get that diesel tractor fixed? Yeah, she's all set. Good. My boy, that's one trip I'm glad I don't have to make very often. The stuff heavy? I'll help you unload. No, not heavy. It's hot. Wheeler's sinking another oil well and he's afraid of fire when it comes in. There's four quarts of nitro glycerin out there in that camp. He wants us to keep it out back in the storehouse. You know, last winter when number 21 came in, I made $100 with that stuff. Dad showed me how to use it. It's not so bad, as long as it doesn't get nervous. But I'm sorry I was so late getting back. But with that cargo, I was afraid to do over five miles an hour. Oh, it's not so dangerous as long as it's in a nitro case. But I took these out of the case. Holy smoke. You're lucky to be standing here talking about it. I'll put it in the shed.
Much action this afternoon? Uh, the sheriff got a new patrol car. We'll get a tune-up job out of that. Is that nitro safe out there? Well, if it decides to blow, it's not safe anywhere. I'll get it. That's not our ring. No, it's the sheriff's. If there's been a wreck, I get a tow job out of it. Also, I have a deal with the ambulance if someone's hurt. <laughs> you work all the angles, don't you, Chase? Mr. Compton, I have to. Hello, Sheriff. Yes? About 12 miles out beyond the Red Schoolhouse, a car has run into the ditch. Oh? Yeah, it's a pretty bad wreck. Yeah. What kind of a car? Oh, it's a sedan, a Pontiac, I believe. Someone could have been hurt pretty bad. Yeah. Maybe she'd get out there pretty quick. Uh, did you stop and investigate? There's been a wreck 12 miles out of town. Where's the wrecker? Home. Oh, I used the A-frame to build a doggone rock garden. Look, you take your car and keep the city wreckers off. I'll get our wrecker and follow you. on that party line a while ago. Well, it cost me to get on that line with you. I figured since it was on your call station anyway, you wouldn't care. Yeah. There's a pretty good one. Yeah. This engine's still warm. Say, did you see the skid marks out here? They go at a direct right angle to the direction of travel. Yeah. No digs in the macadam either. Somebody was hurt in here. There's blood all over the upholstery. Let's take a look around. I've already looked around. There's nobody here. Real good? Yeah, real good. Well, maybe somebody came by and picked them up. It could have been the people that called in. No. They'd have said something. Then why didn't they wait? People will go to the trouble to report an accident, but they won't stay around. Don't want to fill out the reports. So, what do you do now? Well, I'll take the license number and the engine number. Call headquarters. Maybe they've got a light on them. Chase, how are your headlights? Fine, just fine. Both of them burning? How many times have I warned you about getting that headlamp fixed? Twice. But the first time, a suggestion. Seal beam only costs four dollars. Well, I. Had some unexpected expenses. Oh, Missy? Yeah, the doctor said she'd be able to start walking again pretty soon and took all the money I had to make a part down payment on her braces. You know, I think this is a complete washout. You probably got a screwdriver. I don't think the insurance company has missed one of those headlamps. state and the plates were stolen in state. So whoever stole it, it beat it, hurt or not, as long as they could navigate. Well, 
Is there anything else I can do here, Sheriff? If not, I'll get this on back to the garage. No, go ahead. Chase, will you give me a hand? I want to take some pictures of those skid marks. You stand by them for escape. Sure, glad to, Sheriff. Good. Trouble, Chase? I don't know, Sheriff. Take a look. It was just sitting here. Probably fell off of a car. No scratches on it. Well, maybe it landed in the bush. No, as thin as that imitation leather is, even a bush should take some of it off. Was it just like that when you found it? Yeah, straight up. Probably belonged to some hitchhiker. Or it might have belonged to the fellow that stole that car and wrecked it. Say, look at this. A half a pack of cigarettes, one unlit. That suitcase don't belong to any car thief. He was around here too long. I'll take it in. I'll put it in the car for you. Somebody will be around to claim it. See you later, son. Right, Sheriff. your phone call. When I was serving dinner to Mr. Wheeler, he became very angry. He said, if I saw you again, you would have me sent back to France. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. He's my sponsor. He put up the bond. That was to guarantee that you wouldn't become a ward of the state. Now, we don't have to worry about that. You know how to speak English well enough to get a job anywhere. He said it's immoral for me to vote with you. What's immoral about? Nothing. I don't want to go away, Chase. You won't have to, honey. I think it's your fault that Pat ran away. Ling, think whatever he wants to think. Shouldn't take it out on you. But we hadn't better take any chances. You go back inside and look. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. No corners. I'm a round house. <laughs> Sorry, I am, Mr. Uh... Smith. Horatio Alger Smith. <laughs> Sorry, I asked that too. How'd you get in the ditch? You fall asleep? Oh no, no, no. There was there was this big pink and black thing drove right in front of me. It had stripes. Hey, this wash. Sure, sure. Look, you come up and sit in my truck. And I'll get your car out. Okay, that sounds like a good deal. Who knows? Maybe we can. Hey, man, you can't. 
can't drive this car. Bender's cutting the wheel. Sure I can. The motor works, see? But thanks for everything, Dad. You're a cotton-picking friend. Okay, just a second. I'll get out of the way. What is it? Now move over, Dad. I want to pass. What is it now? I think you better give me a tow, Dad. The steering wheel won't work. <laughs> my baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she walks. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she talks. Baby's a rock and roll, and it's a roll, and there's a rock and roll, and swings for little diamond rings. Swing and sing, and bells are ring, and happy playing, and pleasure ring, and baby. My baby, she rocks and rolls, and rocks whenever she wants. My baby, she swings and sings, and swings whenever I bring her things. A rock and roll and tippy toe and ever know and always glow and swing and sing and bells are ring and happy fling, pleasure ring and baby. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. Like man, guys have had their heads chopped off for less than that. For what? For feeling so doggone good when I feel so bad. How'd I get here anyway? I told you in this morning, remember? As a matter of fact, I remember very, very little. You said somebody ran you into the ditch, but I didn't see any other cars. How'd you ever get me in that bed, anyway? I carried you in there, and I sat on you till you fell asleep. That must have been quite a chore. You wouldn't have gotten very far in your condition. Well, look, I really appreciate it. Um, Chase Winstead. Chase. And I, uh, by golly, how much I owe you? Well, I bent the fender out from the wheel. You want me to fill it in and touch it up for you? No, I don't think so. I'll, uh... Get that done when I get back to the city. Here, have some coffee. Oh, great. How about two bucks? Man, this coffee's worth two bucks all by itself. How about the toe? No, I was coming this way anyway. I missed out on a little studying time. Make it three bucks? <laughs> Dad, you go to school? Well, sort of. I take a correspondence course in engineering. Well, look, I really feel indebted to you, and I'd like to do something to pay you back. Now, next time you're in the town, there's my card. Look me up, will you? All right. Will do. Okay. On. Oh, and by the way, buy yourself a sponge rubber hammer, man. All right, I will. I'll see you, Chase. Thank you. Steamroller Smith, the disc jockey. Mr. Smith! Twenties. How about that?
It's a banner! How you doing? Look, look at the people. It's my cousin, Isabella. Do you like uh, monster movies? Vámonos, yo no quiero estar aquí. What do you mean? I don't know. Vámonos, odio esto, vámonos. Oh, yeah, but it's the giant Gila monster. It might be a female. Does that mean anything? Anyway, take a look at her. She's, she's, she's got the same kind of complexion that, that we have in the, the Borlaug family. But uh, they say that she doesn't like me very much, but I don't believe that. No. Oh, sorry. Whoa. But what about the giant? Did you ever see the Gila monster in the desert in South America? No. I'll tell you what. We'll figure this all out later, but we're going to go back into the giant Gila monster, 1959. Howdy, son. Have you heard anything from Pat and Liz? No, nothing. Chase, I'm in a jam, and I need your help. Wheeler swings a big enough stick in this country to make it rough, and he's doing it. Oh, I can understand his concern about Pat, but I just don't have a big enough force to comb this area inch by inch. Is he demanding that? There was a man killed in a wreck in a small canyon in a big city last year. And it took them 19 days to find him. I don't know what they expect of me. Yeah, I remember that. Well, look, Sheriff, maybe I can get tomorrow off and... I'll get the gang and we can go out and search that pass. At least you can put that in your report. I was hoping you'd say that. I can start at the upper end and work towards you. Uh, can I have your help in another matter? Sure, what? You remember how those skid marks just went at right angles to the direction the car was traveling? That's right, they did. Headquarters think I'm nuts. Well, then they're nuts. Didn't, didn't you send them that picture? Well, I'm not the world's greatest photographer. Pictures didn't come out. Can't see the skid marks on the blacktop. Well, that's what happened. I even wiped up the rubber dust with my fingers. You might have to sign a statement to that effect for me. You got it. Look, you can even see the bald spots on the tires where they went sideways. A yeah, that's the spot, all right. But there's another thing that puzzles me. Yeah, what? How those tires got off of that car and almost on yours. Well, look, on, on this wreck, they'd rot. And on my, on my rod, they could prevent a blowout. Maybe even an accident. Well, take good care of them in case the owner shows up. Right. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Right. Today. We've covered half the roads in this county. Yeah. How about that ravine? That runs along here for about eight miles. We'll start from here and you come from the other end. Yeah. All right. Right. like an animal of some sort drug something along here. You mean a wild animal here? Sure, it could be anything, even a mountain lion. <laughs> oh, come on.
Yes, but haven't we gone far enough, Che? Ooh, that's bitter. Must have an awful lot of mineral in it. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take a breather first. Che, I, I don't like this place. Let's go back. Are you afraid? Now, you come on over here with me and sit in the shade and I'll destroy you. Bottom of the wash. Two or three miles back by the old reservoir. Were they in it? No, nothing. Uh, drive me back to my car and I'll bring up the record. I wonder what that was. Oh, probably just a little rock slide. For some reason, this place gives me the creeps. It always has. Lisa! Turn the motor on. The winch is already engaged. Now, if I yell, turn the key off. Okay. But it's all right. Yeah. We'll meet you back at the garage, okay? Okay, let's go, Jenny. By the reservoir and Williams Wash, they weren't in it. No sign of blood or anything. You know, I think they were thrown clear. Did you search the area? Yeah, Gordy went down the ravine for about a mile and... Oh, he looked beyond the wreck for a couple of hundred yards. Wouldn't you say, Gordy? At least that far. Did you see any footprints? No, none. This thing's been around just about the same as that sedan. Like it had been hit with a ten-ton rubber mallet. Pretty rough trip down that cliff that could have done it. Yeah. I'll have to go over that area with a rake. You know, I've been thinking, if if Liz and Pat had have eloped, they wouldn't have taken his car, because old man Wheeler'd have it traced right off. Why, well, maybe he stored it, Chase, and then it was stolen. Yeah, if it was stolen and somebody parked it there, well, the brakes could have faded and it rolled off the edge. It would be a strange coincidence if they came back to this part of the county. Possibility makes some sense, though. 
Where's Ricky Thompson? Oh, he went down to the field with a load of fuel oil. Back in two or three hours. I'm going to close up. I'll see you later. Like your spikes. Let me see. Let me see what you got. Let me see. Those are nice. Can I touch them? Sure. Look at that. Look Come on, get choice. a close up of these spikes here. Come on, closer. Come on, tight, tight, real tight. Zoom. Come on, get on in there. There you go. Real tight, real tight. It's all fun and games till somebody oh, pokes their eye out. Ow! 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 Oh! Poke my eye out. <laughs>
Uh, yeah. I need to, uh, Did you see the sheriff? Yeah, the sheriff. The dude wearing all white. Do they have the sheriff in uh, uh, Guatemala? You're, you're from Guatemala, right? El Salvador. Where? El Salvador! Oh, oh my God. los oídos. Yeah? So what are you, she's saying? Que se limpie los oídos, este. No. No, no, she doesn't like Monsalui. I like Monsalui. I used to, but I'm starting to question myself. We have sent for a guy to get a specimen. You know a specimen? This flies in a spaceship? No, not a specimen. A specimen! A camera wheel. Well, here on camera. What? No, we're over here on camera one. Yeah, a specimen. What's his name? Uh, Carapace. We've sent him out into the desert in El Salvador. Where's he at? Go out and get. Go out and go. Go, go get. Carlos Borla. Nah! What's going on? <laughs> what is this? Send a child to get me? Yes. My this word. kid will whip your butt, man. Oh, gosh. Be careful. Be he's careful. a Borla, isn't he's, he? He's a tough little guy, man. <laughs> it's good doctor. Oh, oh, it's, I was kidding. I was kidding. It doesn't really hurt. What do you? What do you got? What do you got? Fine. What do you got? What do you got? Come here. Come here. Oh, you sent me out into the field, didn't you? What do you got? Take this. No! I'm done with this. No! Hey, baby. How are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. hey. It's already deceased. Oh no. Hey, hey. For you. It's already dead. Wait, oh. It's things are coming out. Yeah, I kind of already prepared that oh, for you. Okay. It's a uh... doctor! Come here! Is this a female? Smell it, finger. <laughs> what? <laughs> you found a female. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, that was my job, right? See, at first, I thought you were confused when I said to get a specimen. And you asked me about rental on a specimen ship. Well, yeah. I do like space. It's but I meant it. Cool. Specimen. You did a good job, man. Good job. Uh, what happened to your mustache? Uh, oh, hey, I remember what happened. I'm sorry. About yeah, why well, don't talk about that again? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I want you to meet my my niece Isabella. What? Come here. What? Come here. Come here. No. Niece? Come here. It's my niece. Hello. She's really nice. Hello. Hello. No. Excuse me. No. Excuse me. It's Hello. She's not very nice for you. Isabella, hi. I'm here. Yeah, she, she's How are you? Molly. Keep an eye on her. <laughs> what, is, what is the children? No. Stabs a lot. Where is he at? How are you? Stabs a lot. Get in here. Quick. Lots of Quick. She's more low. No, back here. Back she's here. Stabs a lot. <laughs> We're going back into the movie. I was, uh, We're over here. On this camera. We're going back into the giant Gila monster. Oh, no. Yes. 1959. Stick around for a little bit. I don't even want to do that. Hi, Ma. Sorry I'm late. Can I chase Wednesday? Just a minute, not so fast there. <laughs> what for? <laughs> Did you ever play football? With the Green Bay Packers. I... <laughs> oh, jeez. Put me down. No, not till you tell me what's going on. All right, if you close your eyes. All right, I don't know what's happening, but they're closed. Keep them closed. This is silly. Now, open. Look what Lisa got me. Stay there, Chase. Watch. Just wonderful. I've been practicing all afternoon, ever since Lisa brought the braces over. 
and I walked all the way, twice. And I want to do it right for you. <laughs> I'd like to hear a song. There was a mushroom, sad little mushroom. There was a meadow, ready to cry. There was a sparrow, gray little sparrow. There was an eagle, silent and high. Children laugh, the Lord said laugh. Children laugh, the Lord said laugh. Children laugh, the Lord said laugh, laugh, laugh. Then the Lord, he said, I created for you a world of joy from out of the blue. And all that is left to complete the joy, just the laugh of a girl and boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a garden, a beautiful garden, held in the arms of a world without joy. And then there was laughter, wonderful laughter, for he created a girl and a boy. And the Lord said, oh, laugh, children laugh, the Lord said, laugh, children laugh, the Lord said, laugh, children laugh. like laughing than I do right now. I didn't think you'd be able to do that good in a week. Didn't you, really? Honest, but you know, you're going to have to work real hard. And you mustn't be disappointed if it takes a long time, okay? That's enough for one day, Missy. It's your bedtime. Do I have to, Chase? You sure do. Show me how you can walk. wonderful thing for you to do, Lisa. I wanted to. Now you're broke, aren't you? Pop's gonna pick him up in the morning. I know. When you showed me that money, I was afraid you'd get there first. Well, I'm still gonna pay you for it. No. Oh, yes. No. Yes. Hello. Yeah, Sheriff. Well, you should have been back an hour ago. No. Where? That's awful. No, it couldn't be Mr. Compton. All right, but at the garage? All right, I'm leaving now. What is it, Chase? It's a wreck, an oil truck. It could be Mr. Compton. Honey, I'm awfully sorry, but I've got to leave. Sheriff, you got a sore foot. Oh, no. We can take my model A. She's all shiny and bright. No, we'll Where take my going? car. Come on, Harris. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it, but I sure heard about it. Can I open this thing up? Yeah, go ahead. out in the lobby, I found this cat. He said he, you saw this thing, right? It's a giant pink and black lizard, you know, crawling across the parking lot, right? 
My shirt. It kind of looked like your shirt, man. Stuff. It did. But we're going to use him as a decoy. You know that? Hey, how do you feel about being monster bait? <laughs> you know what? Isabella! Come here! Come here! This is my, this is my cousin niece, uh, Isabella. Oh, hello there. Isabella. Watch out. Watch out. She's oh, mean. No, She's mean and she doesn't that, speak see. English very well, Yo, do you? you're mean. Oh, you like monster movies? No. Quit no. picking on her. <laughs> hey, stop it. Stop Girls don't me. like me. <laughs> so you're a superhero. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go check something out. Uh, hey, you guys, uh, carry on for a few minutes. And uh, Frank, why don't you come up here and show us some of the new dance moves you got real quick. That's just wrong. What happened? Oh, man. I'll tell you what. What? Just hanging out I with the If you find the monster, use this. Okay. How does this thing work? When you find the monster, go. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. You go like that. Yeah. Is it like if you? That's good. Isabella, take him. I can bring you some real weapons. Show him where the thing is. That's not a real weapon. Go. He needs a real weapon. Bang. This is he nice. Yeah. Where's he got? This is nice. Yeah. My family has such good manners. Unlike. You pick on her too much. I don't. She's mean to no, me. No, you're mean to her. No, I'm not. Everybody you leave her alone. Look, what is it about me that pisses women off so much? Do you really want me to answer that question? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Really? That irritates women? Tell me. Is it my face? Or is it just me? She can't even tell me. Just say something nice to me. What? Say something nice to me. What? Something nice? Say, there, she said something nice. Right. And my eyes are burning from my own smell, I think. Now, this movie was shot in the 50s, so they're using cars from the 30s. Big old cars. Look at the eyebrow on this kid. What do you got here? Hey, come on up here. Look at the unibrow on this kid, man. Yeah, he's definitely a boy off. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here, kid. You smell funny. Wait. <clears throat> no, mine don't connect. I shave. I got a Brazilian. Yeah. A Brazilian? I thought she was Brazilian. from the Brazilian. And then El Salvador. Do you have an El Salvador or a Brazilian? Salvador. Oh. It's kind of like a lightning bolt or something. <laughs> That's your cousin. I don't think you want to ask that question. Niece. Twice niece. removed. Oh. I don't know. He's, you know, he didn't know what I was talking about anyway. But now these movies. Yes. Documentary footage in here and a little bit of reenactment, kind of like they do on the Discovery Channel or something. You know, it's a little disturbing. It is, in fact. These giant Gila monsters, man, they just flip me out, they freak me out. Stabs them! Hey! <laughs> Lord Sir Phineas no. Weatherby Pterodactyl Candy Maze. Now, that <clears throat> you still got this thing now, it's still moving around a little bit. We're gonna. I pack thought I took care of that. The giant Gila monster from 1967 or something like that. Look out! <laughs> Stop tape. Stop the lizard hate. All right, everybody. may have been hurt and crawled away. Let's look around. Come on, Harris. Okay. Thompson! Mr. Thompson! Find anything, Sheriff? Well, let's go over this again. How did you get into the act? I told you one. Well, tell me again. Well, I was barreling along in my mud leg. She don't look like much now, but she used a beauty when I first The accident. In. He'll go, though. Get up to 60. The accident. Just the accident. Well? I'll tell you. I wish you would. This 
feller seen the headlights coming up the grade towards him, and all of a sudden they come as to going over and over, and then blew it. Blurry! She blew up. Well, he seen somebody is in a mite of trouble, so uh, he come in the store talking about it. That's when I offered to call you. Did you get the name of the witness? No. Did he see anything else? No. Do you want to wait in the car for us? No. Well, you're going to anyway. Okay, Sheriff, okay. Like you say, always obey the law. Do this, do that. Somebody tells you no. Somebody Any luck, Chase? No, nothing. Pat and Liz might have eloped, but Compton ought to be around here. Maybe he's in the hospital. No. I checked there before I left my place. Would Compton have any reason to want to get lost? No, none that I can think of. You would have no reason to know about this, but there's been a lot of livestock missing lately. One here, one there. That doesn't make headlines, but now it's people. And you think there's a tie-up? I don't know. What we need is a criminal investigator, and headquarters won't send one down here. Well, maybe they will now. Yeah, maybe. Did you notice those skid marks? Just like the others, straight across the road. If it had been hit by another vehicle, the paint would be knocked off. What batters a car around like it was a toy? How's the barn coming along for the party? All right. I'll be done in about an hour or so. Say, you and Chase sure got off light. He took off this morning. You've just been sitting around here on your can all day long. That barn was a place to clean. Did you get the high pass set up? Yeah. Well, you steamboats and dreamboats, that's steam steamroller Smith. on another session of the old old steamroller here at KILT. Uh, if any of you round rocks get lonesome for my voice, I'll be emceeing a flatter party tonight out at Hargate Hayes Barn on Route 43. Drop in. I'll flatten you. Hey, man, that's us. We got the steamroller coming out. That's where Chase has been all day. Getting steamrolled. This will be a blast. How about that guy? Hey, little man, you sure had a busy day. Getting that paint job and Steamroller Smith. Now, how'd you guys find out about Steamroller Smith? Well, he just said so on his program. Said it right out on the network. Oh, I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, come on, don't spread it around, huh? How are the preparations coming? Oh, that'll be finished in about 45 minutes. The gang won't start arriving from east until 9.30. We're under the wire with time to spare. No sweat. the ground you walk on to do, darling, for all them things that you have did to me. Oh, you nag me till you're hoarse, so I'm a suing for divorce. Little darling, I'll forget your memory. <laughs> hey, Grim, it's good.
the same story a man down here told me. Something real strange must have happened down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll be handy if you want him. Right. Sit down, Harris. You be going down to the wreck, Sheriff? No, that's not in my territory. Headquarters already have a report. The troopers will take care of that. Harris, tell me again about the train wreck. Well, I was driving along quite like in my model A. Bought it at 32 for six. Just a minute, just a minute. I ask you what time it is, and you tell me how to build a clock. Just the facts about the wreck. Well, I was driving along quite like in the wreck. Then I turned around and come back down here and told you about it. Give me your keys, Harris. Key? My key? What for? For spinning a yarn like that and driving while drunk. I demand a sober test. That does it. Go lock yourself up. I demand a sober test because I ain't been drinking. <laughs> well, at least I'm not heavy. Whatever you think's right. Put your way in the cell. Put your way. Well, you can't win them all, can you, Sheriff? You can call your wife if you want to, Harris. Why? <laughs> Are you crazy, Sheriff? <laughs> <laughs> once, but you gotta quit sending flowers. When you were a size four, you were cute, but size 400, it's not the lizard man thing. Sorry, no more flowers. You're gonna have to drop a couple of LBs. I'm right? telling you, the radiation just didn't work well for her. She needs to get you some shiny, sparkly things. Well, That's it, what you need. it was that or those extra box of chocolates that I gave her uh, might have been a problem. I don't know if they really like that or not, because I've tried that. You know what happens? It doesn't work. I get in a lot of trouble, right? Do women like oh, chocolate? No, no. <laughs> no all, all lizard chicks like chocolate covered insects. Right, chocolate covered insects. Yeah, I didn't say it was candy. I, go for insects. I, don't I didn't say it was candy. Insects? No. Oh, look, a oh, bee. Shiny things. Hey, you know, that's a good thing about, you know, in the desert, there's all kinds of stuff that you can live in the desert. If you don't have a McDonald's or a 7 Eleven, you can still, like, live off the land, right? Who's the survivalist in here? The survivalist? Uh, Kevin. What? Here, protect me from her. Look, I got all my relatives on the show. This is like a really weird kind of family reunion. I got a niece. And a friend. Come here. Come here, let's get a family picture. Come on. Come on. Let's just get one family Come on. Come on. That's adorable. Is functional for over a hundred years. I don't know what she's saying. Go so away. What is Bamanos? I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know Greek. I think she's saying stop talking, Morlock. Stop talking. Yeah. Well, if I stop talking, nobody's gonna understand what's really going on with this movie. Listen. Listen. I think your decoy is working. I think you found it. You better get out there. We had to feed this thing first. Oh, you know, so that we could actually lure it in. So hopefully, a couple of minutes, we'll go out and check to see how much is left of this cat. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, no. but in, but in, the, in the end of the movie, what happens is that they probably try to blow this thing up. What do you think about, uh, you know, when you try to capture it? Using chem what? What did she say? Yeah, she's Spanish. She's Spanish. Great. Doctor? Yes. Come here. We got to figure out what's going on here. We got all kinds of languages she, going she, on. She's talking to you in Spanish. I don't know what you're talking in. Where are you from, anyway? From under? 
No, no, that's my favorite cheese. Yeah. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to pull my finger right here. And you know what? We're going to cut back into the giant heel monster. Uh, we're going to go back into the movie, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Ooh. Oh. Was that too early? My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she talks. My baby's hey. a rock and roll. Hey, you gonna leave home? I'm going to spend the night with the Blackwells. Mommy said it was all right. Will you take me over? Well, I don't know, Missy. Gosh, that's two or three miles out of my way. And... Oh, sure, we will. James, what in the world have you done to that car? It's a new fuel mixture. You like it? I just barely touched the gas pedal and the back wheel started to spin. Why, I was two blocks down the road before I even knew I'd left home. Come on, Mom, I'm just trying to make a hot rodder out of you. I'll get it. Hello. Yeah, hello, Sheriff. A what? Book on reptiles. Yeah, I guess I still have it around here somewhere. Yeah, sure. I have to take Missy over by the Blackwells. I'll stop by on my way to pick up Lisa. Okay? Well, now I'm going to tell you something you don't know. I've been talking to a zoologist. And the Gila monster's size is controlled, uh, like everything else, by a sort of a thyroid or pituitary. Good, but what's that mean to me? Oh, I'm coming to that. The zoologist also told me about a, a doctor who just found the bones of some huge animals down in Tangayika. And the theory was that uh, they lived in kind of river delta country, and certain salts had washed into the valley, been absorbed by the plants, and then transferred to the animals, causing them to be giants. Hmm. Well, I... Yeah. I know. I probably sound a little bit like Harris, but yeah. let me tell the whole thing in my own words. There was another report out of Russia or the Ukraine. It was in the paper a couple of months ago. Maybe you saw it. About a baby that weighed 130 pounds when it was 10 months old and was taller than its mother. Grew up to be a giant. Yeah, and that same thing could happen right here. Did you see any footprints around any of those wrecks? No. Gila monster footprints? Yeah, a big one. About the size of a bus. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, I don't know. But Harris saw it, and some of the survivors of the train wreck saw it. A giant lizard. Train wreck? Where? At the bridge over Wilson's Wash. When? Tonight, about an hour ago. The troopers were inclined to pass it off as shock or optical illusion. And you can't always believe what Harris said. A Gila monster. Pink and black stripes. You know, I towed a guy in the other day, and he said he'd been forced off the road by something like that. I didn't believe him because he'd been drinking. And another thing, when we were looking for Pat's car, we saw where something had been drugged down the wash. You know, if they could have gotten that big, they could have knocked Mr. Compton's truck off that road. Could have gotten him. I shouldn't have told you about this until after the party, but I just thought you'd want to know. Hadn't we better warn everybody? No. It operates in and around the wash. And the troopers have got that staked off for a couple of miles. Just keep it to yourself. It might cause panic. Okay, Sheriff, whatever you say. Try and forget it for now and have some fun, will you, boy?
Now, I got a surprise for you. We got the king of the DJs. Oh. Now, you, now, you've all heard him on his platter show on KILT. Oh. That's right. Oh. Now, do you mind telling me what this is all about? Have you been down to the train wreck? No. Well, I have. I talked to a trooper about my son's car. He said it shouldn't have been moved until a thorough investigation had been made and it had been photographed. This wasn't done, was it, Sheriff? I thought not. It was removed and clues lost without authority. You didn't put that in your report, did you, Sheriff? Of course you didn't, and I'll tell you why. You were protecting that Chase Winston. You were protecting that Chase Winston. Covering him regardless of the effect it might have on others. Chase was only trying to help. He's your son's friend, probably the best one he ever had. Of course it wasn't in the report. What good would it do? Any kid can make a mistake, Mr. Wheeler, even yours. But Sheriff, it's my son that's missing. Let me ask you something else. Have you heard the reports about a giant lizard? Do you believe them? I don't know, Mr. Wheeler. Doesn't seem possible. Well, why not? There have been giants before. That's true. But how could anything that big go unnoticed in this area? Have you ever walked the length of Williams Wash? No. You know anybody that has? No. That area is so choked with underbrush, it isn't even good hunting ground. And I say it is possible for a giant lizard to have lived there for years without being seen. Now, if that is the case, my son's dead. So is Compton. I can't blame you for what's happened to Pat. But Compton's death is on your hands. How did you come to that conclusion? I'll tell you how. His truck was found only two miles beyond Pat's car. And if you'd investigated that area thoroughly, as you're paid to do, Compton might not have died. Well? There was a tow in charge against He us. presumed the bill wouldn't be paid, so he borrowed the tires in the meantime? Perhaps. That's thievery. Destroying evidence and obstructing justice. Now, your last official act of office will be to arrest that boy and bring him in. And I'll go along to make sure that it's done. A fellow dropped in over KILT the other day and played me a great new song. I thought it was just fine. I want to play it for you. We got a little pickup uh, group together and cut a demo disc on it. I want to play it for you now and see what you think about it. By the way, the first person who identifies the singer on the record gets two free rides on my elephant in Bangkok, Siam. <laughs> but you got to pay your own way over there and back. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here it is now. See what you think of it. I'll never promise not to say Cause baby, I'm made of that away Hey, great No, baby, I'm made of that away <laughs> But it's been made in our design Well, I can give you golden pie Yes, I can give you golden pie Oh, 
tar and feathers yet. I'm going to play the rest of it. How do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, who's the singer? Elvis, one of the Everly. Bill Darnell. Kate Smith. Oh. Oh. Very funny what you lose. Look, the same guy you hear singing on the record also wrote the song. Now, now who is it? Does anybody know? Well, no, no. Who is it? Okay, okay, okay. It's going to come out on records in a couple of months, and you can find his name on the label. Oh! oh no, 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 no. I know it is. Who? Oh. 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 Come on, tell us. Chase did it. Your oh. eyes. You did it, Chase. Why didn't you say something? You didn't tell us. Well, I didn't know there was anything I'd want to admit to. Oh. 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 Come on up here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Also, over at the station the other day, Chase played me another little song. It's kind of different from this one. But I imagine with a little coaxing, you know, by hitting your hands together like this, he might give you a little preview of it. What do you say? and women, they want to kill me. I can't quite figure out what it is. But these monster movies, there's always somebody getting killed or something. Where'd you go? You still got that knife. Yeah, knife. Yeah. Watch yeah. Come, Come on. on. I don't know what I need this means. I don't understand. I should have read that book. I never she did pay attention. She wants to go home. She doesn't want to watch any more monster movies. She doesn't? I don't think she likes it. Monster. This one's got too much Borloff in her. Imagine that. Too much Borloff blood. Women that don't like monster movies. It's weird. You're weird. There's definitely psychological problems going on there. Huh? Definitely psychological problems. There's a lot of misplaced hostility here. You got any pills? You got a doctor, are you? Do you bring your prescription pad? What good are you? <laughs> so... I'm starting to wonder. I'm not seeing anything. We're not getting any data from these experiments, are we? Well, I figured out how to defeat it. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Frank. Yeah, big Frank, come out here for a second. Uh, Boma. You know, I've been wondering. Monster friend. Are you an honest guy? For the most part? Honest good. I think you're a big phony. <laughs> Come on, come here, come here, buddy. Come on, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, play back and run. Throw it, throw it. Throw it. Come on. This back way, run. this way. Get over him. there. He's got it. He's got it over here. <laughs> now that's one way to keep monsters distracted. Oh. Oh, that's Pull not a bug. Pull off your no. toupee and throw it. No. Oh. Where'd it go? Uh oh. Ah. Here. Over here, man. I got it. Whoa. All right, come here, buddy. I'm yeah. sorry. You're the man. You pretty. look better without it, though, man. Let me tell you. You know, chicks like the whole bald thing now. There you go. That's why you're going to look good. That's why the Gila monster has got to be female. Why do girls like pink so much? I don't know. I don't like pink. Um, well, why do they? But I mean, not you. You're not a girl. You're a man. What is your first name again? Ultra. Ultra. Mm -hmm. Your last name? Man. Yeah. Check it. 
But what about the pink? What is it? Is it just soft? Or is it... I guess it's feminine. Feminine? I don't know. Pink. Yeah, I think so. Pink and black. If you've ever seen this pink and black lizard in the desert, especially if it's a giant one, stay away from it! That's a fairy princess lizard. Is it a fairy princess? Uh, if it's got pink and black, it's a fairy princess lizard. Now, he's got issues. I think it was a fantastic yeah. secretly in love with him. I think I, yeah, I, 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 I think the lizard man is actually guessing. Should we send him out to try to go find out what the pink uh, I think he can lure her away from all the populated areas that, you know, so there won't be so much destruction. Maybe he could get a chat session going on and you actually get the thing come in and check it out yeah, so, yeah. she could bring her over here to the island and then we can experiment and maybe shrink her down to a normal carapace so come here a normal, carlos ball <laughs> <laughs> who yeah. yeah we need you to take him out to we're gonna the defeat thing. the lizard go get the car we're gonna fight it right go get the car we gotta capture we're the gonna monster. hit it with the car are we, are we gonna capture a Nobody's monster can it. i capture it no there's no capturing help us this is a help us all we need to do is figure out if this is a female or a girl. We're gonna go back into one of the almost last parts of the giant Gila monster, a monster madhouse. Said laugh, children laugh, the Lord said laugh. Children laugh, the Lord said laugh. Children laugh, the Lord said laugh. Just a minute. And then the Lord, he said, I created for you a world of joy from out of the blue. I don't know, but I'm going down to the train wreck and get some troopers. If we pump enough lead into that thing, we may hit a vulnerable spot. <laughs> you know, you're going to have to give me a hand. But how? Keep these kids here. I don't want anybody roaming around. Where are we going? Storage shed. I've got an idea that might work. You've been after this. Now you've got it. You're deputized. Listen, kids. Winner's my deputy. You'll take your orders from him. Arrest anybody that tries to get away. The sheriff says this is a place to stay. Well, we're not staying here. That's right. I'll have to arrest anyone that leaves. No, we leave here. and wait inside the office till I get back. I told you to wait inside. Why don't you do what I tell you? I haven't got much time. You're not going to leave me, Chess. I'm going to help. Do you know what's in here? Nitroglycerin, enough to blow up half this town. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to help. All right, now take these, hold them, and don't let them bump. And for heaven's sakes, don't drop them. Now 
Now hold those. generally travel in a straight line. Good Lord, he's hit the Blackwell home. That's where Missy is. Mrs. Blackwell! Nitro, we're cutting across. Keep that stuff still. Do you want to blow us up? There they are. There is Missy. Missy. It's all right, Missy. It's all right. Lisa, get Missy and hold her down. And both of you lie flat. That's okay, honey. I tore my new dress. Oh, we can't get you a new dress. Oh, a hundred dresses. Everybody all right? Yeah. On the way back, we picked up his trail. Followed him across country. What did you hit him with? My brand new 100% completed hot rod. You'd have had to start in the next county to get up enough momentum to do that to him. Not with four quarts of nitroglycerin riding with you. You rode across that rough field carrying nitro? Yes, sir. Do you know what could have happened to you? It did. I lost my car. Oh, don't worry about that. The railroad will be glad to buy your new one. Did you see it? I sure did, Missy. You were really traveling. I thought I told you to keep those kids up at the barn. Well, uh, how do you arrest a bunch of kids going in all different directions? Do you realize what would have happened if that thing had turned back? Same thing that happened to Pat. Sheriff, your job is a much bigger one than I thought. Since Compton's gone, I guess Chase is out of a job. That's right. Would you make it a point to have the boy come around and see him in the morning? I'll bring him around in the morning. battle armor on, ready to encounter this lizard. But you know what happened? They killed it. <laughs> they blew it up. Lizard man. Yeah. What do you got here? The first human, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. What's uh, left of him? Yeah. <laughs> but now, 
They blew up your girl, man. She's dead. Did you see that? I think she's all right. Yeah. Well, this was back in the 50s. There's more of them, man. We sent the dude out there to be a, a decoy. You know, you heard the, uh, the horn blowing thing. I uh, think he's got one in the trap. Yeah. What, what did you... What? What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? I don't understand what Ben does. You have to say. Now, this whole Gila monster thing, this guy was ready for action, man. He's ready to fight. Ready to fight. He's got his battle armor on. Come on, man. Let's, let's, let's get one on. Come on. Let's go. You see? Show you him some moves. Go, Bob! Ow! Go, Bob! Ow! Wait, 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 wait. It's good. It's good. It's good. Get it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Oh, Frank. Oh! Oh! oh. You're upsetting your great grandfather. I'll cut you. I'll cut you. I'll cut you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come. Go ahead. See. See what you're gonna do. What do you think about the way they took rid of this monster, though? At the end, they drive the car, jump out of the car with the nitroglycerin in the car, and it blew it up. It's good. It's good. But you know, it kind of makes me sad. Why? Again, these reptiles and giant Gila monsters. They don't think they're really killing people. They're not murdering people. They're hungry. They're the easy hungry. ball, that's right. The easy ball. You need to... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what do you think? You know... No pienso nada, no pienso nada. Vámonos ya, ahorita. What about the, the giant Gila monster? You're upsetting your grandfather. Yes. Again, these monsters, they don't mean to do evil. They're just doing what they do. Hey, it's him! Hey, Stevie Wonder, about... ladies and gentlemen, Stevie Wonder. I'm here yeah. that. God, I love okay? that song. Which one? I just Have called been. to say, where's the Gila monster? No, don't, don't do that again. It. Grilled it. Yeah, and I didn't care enough to bring what? you back any. You what? mean just like in a movie, you guys blew it up? So what are you saying, steaks tonight? Yeah, we got, we got fresh Gila monster me meat. Uh, no. I'm ready. Sounds like sounds good to me. I'll tell you what, man. I like a barbecue. Let's oh, yeah, yeah, a do barbecue. a barbecue. cookout. I'll tell you what. You and him, you go take him to the grocery store and get some charcoal because we're going to grill this thing. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna I'm have, cooking this. You guys one. go get some stuff. We're going to have a cookout. Yeah. Doc? Yeah. Doc. The, the, good the, work. The, the meat will be fine. Man. Trust me, the meat will be fine. Yeah, you gotta do something with that hair, yeah. man. Yeah, I yeah that went, one right there, yeah. yeah. I went to the. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. a little freaky, man, but. What about this hair? What about it? Look at all the bugs. You're talking about his hair. What about your hair? <laughs> your hair is nice. <laughs> you have that one. You say so. Yes, it is. No, good job. Thank you very much for all your help, whatever you did. You just, you know, you don't have to do much. You just stand around and look awesome. And she flies and she, like, blows stuff up. Do you like this movie? Is it worth it? Reviewing, I mean, again, or should we right. go back through this? The sequel now, the return of the giant Gila monster. They never made it. They never made this movie. Yeah, the giant Gila monster is a, actually one of the more popular um, uh, monster movies that you see on a lot of these programs because it's got a giant monster in it. And that was because of the songs. Bunch of scary stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually very edu educational. And the girls like it, too, a some lot. Of, some of the girls. Yeah, girls love monster movies, don't they? Your niece is not a fan. Oh. Where's she? Where's she? Do you like monster movies? No, she likes monster no, My family no. loves monster movies. No, My dysfunctional no, no. family. No, no, no. No, no. But now, <laughs> the trick is, is to really watch these things backwards. You know, just turn it around, watch it from the end backwards. And everybody's going, you and it's all speaking backwards and stuff. It's not, you might as well, because I don't understand they're Spanish. The who? If she was backwards, they were gonna understand what she was saying. I don't know what she said. He just said a little bit about it. He's from like New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, you all know what you are. Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? Forget about it. Forget, this guy right here. You gotta do something. Doc, let me pull my finger up here. Um, you gotta, pull my finger. <laughs> what have you done now? I'm on a Mexican radio. Whoa. <laughs> Mexican. Whoa. Wait a second. Radio. You're supposed, to be, you're supposed to be out there with the guy getting the grill with the stuff with the bar. Hey, it's good seeing you again. It's I, uh, anyway, I guess we're going to wrap things up. The giant Gila Monster on Monster Madhouse. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in next time. We don't know what movie we're going to show. 
but it might be something good. Well, ooh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, uh, uh, to do the thing to your things there. Um, It'll be full of monsters and apes. Monsters, maybe Humans, spiders. Whatever. Do you like spiders? No, not no, particularly. Spiders. I fought um, a spider once. You fought a spider once? Sure. Remember? He's fought a spider once. A giant spider. Spider. Ah, spider. Spiders are bad. They bite. They're bad. Spiders are ugly, I agree. Spider's no, not good. Spider in a web, though, is Spiders okay. are no, ugly. No, no, no it's spiders. the one that's in your carpet. No, uh-uh, no spiders. <laughs> yeah. This is my wife, saxophone. Saxophone? Yes, the film made her a little bored. Oh, yes, it is a little bored. Ah, I get it, I get it. All right, you know what? we got to get out of here. We're running out of time. Thanks for watching the giant Gila monster. Which camera are we on? Anyway? Yeah. I can't even tell what you what? Who are, where are we? Uh, hey, watch Monster Madhouse all the time. Tune in on channel whatever that we're watching it on. Uh, so, later. <laughs> Bye.